In this video, we continue looking at patterns that will help us to do our addition and subtraction with negative numbers more easily. OK, I'm going to start you back in grade one. What is five subtract three? I hope that none of you struggled to immediately get the answer of two. But now what would happen if I asked you to do three subtract five? Well, let's just think about this first. If I do 3 subtract 5, firstly, am I going to end up with a positive or negative answer? Hopefully, immediately you knew that you are definitely going to end up with a negative answer. Now, let's have a look at how we'd actually do this if we can't do it immediately in our heads. We would say we start at 3. We are going down 5 steps. Well, let's go down those 5 steps. Well, jumping to 0 is a jump of 3 down. How much more do we need to go down? We need to go 2 more down, because in total we wanted to go 5 down. And so we can see that we end at negative 2. OK, another example. 7 subtract 4. Positive or negative answer? Ah, immediately you should know that's positive. And hopefully, you remember your grade 1 work, 7 subtract 4, is going to give you 3 as the answer. Now, what will happen if we do 4 subtract 7? Firstly, are we going to end up with a positive or negative answer? Hopefully, you can immediately see we're going to end up with a negative answer. And what do we do? We start at 4. We know that we are going to be going down. And we're going to go down 7 steps. So let's jump down those seven steps. Four steps gets me to zero. And three more steps to make up my total of seven steps will get me to negative three. Can you see the pattern that I am seeing here? That if seven minus four is three, then four minus seven will be negative three. And we can write this by saying, 4 subtract 7 is going to give me the same answer as 7 subtract 4, except it will be negative. So how does that help me? Well, if I wanted to do something like 43 subtract 68, I know my answer is going to be negative. And I know from that pattern I've just observed that it's just going to give me the same number part of the answer as 68 subtract 43, except be negative. And so 68 subtract 43, I know is 25. And so my answer here is negative 25. 